jumping up and down. Tickled to death, I'm sure, to see this outcome. A lap to go. And it's Rutland's to lose. Bodine can't drive by from here, I don't believe. A truck-like difference as they haul him down into that 36-degree banking for the final time. Off turn four and headed for home. Ford is finally 1-1. Joe Rutman did the number. And it is a 1-2 sweep as Bodine comes across right on his tailgate. And finally, the F-150 will go to victory lane here at Bristol. We're going to be doing the quick out of here. Remind you that Sports Center will be coming up next. The Skinner. Skinner trying to get on the inside. He's trying. He's trying. Man. He had him a little loose. And Bodine's got to be thinking, what Hornaday going to do? Oh, there he comes along. Nice contact. Bodine spins. And they both spin. And here comes Skinner Rutman. Kept it. Rutman took it by on the bottom. Is Rutman going to win the race? He'll take the white flag. Skinner didn't come clear around. Managed to keep it straight enough to continue. Bodine has spun it turn four. And it looks like Rutman's going to win the race. Ha <laughs> ha, wow. Oh, the yellow is out. The yellow and white. Now this race can't end on the on the yellow. Wait a minute. Checkered flag. Yeah, they're throwing a checkered flag. They throw the checkered flag on Rutman. And then we see the 18 is finished. And the 90 truck, I guess. Let's see, Benson would have been second or third. We'll start that out when we come back. The truck races sure are fun. There's a happy Ernie Irvin. We'll be right back from Arkansas. Rutman. That guy in third place, Butch Miller, might be in pretty good shape. Into the grass goes Craig with a lap to go. White flag flies. Rutman trying to get the nose alongside. They touch. And around goes Craig. He's into the outside wall. Rutman goes by on the final lap of the race. Rutman making contact with the tail of Sprague's truck. Sprague goes around and Rutman appears to be on three. Uh-huh. Here comes Joe Rutman to wow. turn three. And yes, like I said, Bush Miller almost was in good shape. <laughs> well, they say all fair and law of war in the last lap. And Rutman takes the checkered flag in the Roush Racing LCI Team Ford, his third career NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series victory. Let's go. Hard on the brakes. No move to the pit lane. Now back onto the drag strip. The front two. Sauter, Sprague, Rutman, Hornaday. Again, Sprague's situation yet to be clarified as he went straight from turn seven to turn nine. Jay got about nine more corners, just needs to be smooth here. There you see Rutman moving to the inside. Sprague shuts the door as they come out of the right-hander there. This again is a new part of the racetrack. NASCAR has just confirmed on the radio that they will, because we only have a lap to go, they will assess a 15-second penalty to the 24 truck at the end of the event. So wherever Jack Sprague comes across the line, they will then move him back 15 seconds and he may only lose a couple or three positions as spread out as some of these spots are right now. But that means now that... Sauter's out of fuel. Sauter is out, out of fuel. fuel. Sauter is out of fuel, the race leader. Sauter is out of fuel, and that means Rutman is now the leader. Remember, Sprague is going to get a penalty, so the 80 truck is now the leader. There he is, Joe Rutman. Eli, he come up about three or four oh, corners man. short. Here they come back to the... Straight away, and there is Jay Sauter in sight of his second victory. Will Lind can't believe it, the team manager. They rolled the bones. It came up snake eyes. Joe Rutman coming to the stripe from wire to wire. Checkered flag, Joe Rutman wins the Lundluck 275, and Joe Rutman led for just half of that final lap, not even that much. And he picks up the victory, ending Hornaday's streak at three victories in a row. What a remarkable finish. No guts, no glory. You gotta try to stretch it. And Sauter came up just a bit short. what, you gotta get your rhythm. Don't overdrive your rhythm, okay? Face truck pulls off. 
starts at the cone. Starts at the cone. There's a cone there. Hubert's trying to get a run. The green and white both displayed by the flagman Chris Morgan. And here we go, Benny. Rick Johnson Corelli tries to drive up on the inside. Can't do it. And Hubert pushes Rutland. Oh, I thought he may have pushed him enough to get him loose and out of the way. But Rutman hangs on. Oh, we got another truck. That's Tony Roper. But they're running back to the checkered flag, so it doesn't matter. And some contact again as Hubert tries to get on the inside of Rudman. Hubert may have the faster truck. He moves up alongside Rudman as they go up the hill. Wow, carousel. Hold your line. Side by side. Good job. Good job. Keep digging. That was Joe Rudman's radio we were listening to. Rudman trying to hold off an incredible challenge by Tom Hubert. Here they come to turn number seven. The final time. Sauter watches from third position. Let's watch what Hubert does. He'll try to get to the inside. Coming off the corner. Can't do it. And the crew tells him, tells him to ride it home. Up over the rumble strips. And Hubert is off. Oh, he gets off. That's probably what happened to Chris Indies. That's probably exactly what happened to Chris Indies. I don't know. Nice move left, you got it, buddy. Here he comes toward turn number 11, the final corner. Looks like Rutman has got it in the There's bag. The and good nothing line. happens here in the over, last buddy. corner. You want me another road race, Rutman? I love you, baby. <laughs> Hubert going to finish second, sort of third, but Joe oh, Rutman no. wins at Sears Point. Joe Rutman wins. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. We now this time by and you can see the margin it is about 10 12 truck lengths no dodge has ever won here at phoenix international raceway the last time someone won from the pole was texas of october of 99 that was jay sauter there's the real battle right now as andy houston has come up very strong here on this last couple of laps. He's going to give it a try to get around spread. Coming around turn four, Joe Rutman is going to be looking at the checkered flag and a $10,000 bonus as he wins from the pole. Second place to Jack Sprague, third to Andy Houston. The sixth win from the pole this year. It'll be his second time from the pole. He did it back in Phoenix. The white flag is out. It will be his 10th career win in 134 starts. And what's even more important for Joe Rutman, he's got himself a brand new contract, courtesy of Bobby Hamilton's promise on our air. And here he comes out of turn number four with a $10,000 Craftsman team bonus, a new contract, and another victory, his second of the season. It is Joe Rutman first, Lyndon Amick with his career best second, McMurray a career best third, Wallace and Biffle rounding out the top five. A career best for Sockwell, if he can hold on. Let's sort it all out and let's shoot it out. Round 20 of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series is once again green. a better start this time than he has the last three. There, Rutman got a nice little jump. Biffle's right there, though. Biffle in the Granger Ford. Can he give Ford its 50th win? Can Rutman give Dodge its first three-peat ever in NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series history? Biffle right up on him. Rutman takes the white flag. One lap to go. If it ends like it is right now, it's 200-point margin for Greg Biffle, but more importantly for Joe Rutman, it could be his third victory from the pole. And career win number 11 into turn number three. I don't think Biffle's...
got enough left. Here comes Mike Wallace to try and challenge for second. On board with Wallace as we head for the strike. Dodge wins for the third straight time. Big job, buddy. For 200 Joe point Joe, you're the man. You're the man, Joe. Thank you, fans. Thank you, guys. Bobby Hamilton and the crew ecstatic. Congratulations to Drew Rutman. He wins the Craftsman Truck Series $10,000 bonus as well. Third time winning from the pole. Four, Dave Burns and Amy East. And Coming down for the green, white, checkered flag. Ricky Hendrick had never won a truck series race until today. Rutman, an 11-time winner, three a year ago. Scott Briggs looking for his first win. How about Lance Norick back in fourth spot? Lefters back there, the winner last October in Texas. Here we go. Just hold on, Jerry. Green flag waves. It'll be white flag. Hit checkered flag. Draft so very critical. It is Dodge, Chevrolet, Dodge. Run through your break it away. You know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He's been here before, too. Rutland, Hendrick, and Riggs. Dodge, Chevrolet, Dodge. An 11 time winner and two young, hungry. Craftsman Trucks Series drivers looking for their first victory right behind him. Again, a free truck breakaway, just like we had before the caution play. Wide flag. flag. What will they do? Will Hendrick go to the inside? When will he make his move? Will Riggs be a factor? Scott Riggs had the strong truck early on. No one can run with Riggs. That's a truck that won a year ago. The chassis that won. The team that won. Hang it back on you. He's losing you behind you. Stay with him. Now Riggs is faded by about four truck lengths back to back straight away. Joe Rutman is watching his mirror every inch of the way around this race. Let's watch him. Riggs backed up to get a run. Outside, looking outside. Here He's is there. Riggs. He's there. To the high side of Ricky Hendry. That's that going is... to help Joe Rutman. If you listen to Ricky Hendrick's radio. Here they come. Off the turn, Riggs has a run. Hendrick has a run. And Rutman has three car lengths, and Joe Rutman will win it. Great job by Joe Rutman. Great job by Scott Riggs and Ricky Hendrick. So the oldest pole setter in NASCAR's youngest series becomes their oldest winner. At 56 years of age, he picks up his 12th career win and picks up a $10,000 bonus courtesy of Sears Craftsman for winning from the pole. And what a great job by Scott Riggs.